Hello there everyone, welcome to Deco Gravy Design. Today I'm going to show you how to mock up your design using Photopia. For the sake of those people that find it difficult to uh, uh, see what I do click whenever I'm explaining something on Photopia. Today I'm going to use an illustration. Whatever I click, I will circle it. Or point a direction to it for you to be able to get it easily. Kindly stay tuned and watch to the end. If you like my video, don't forget to subscribe, share, like, and comment. And don't forget as well to click the bell icon so that you can be able to be notified whenever I post another uh, video like this. So, the first thing you will do is I'm using what I'm using. Chrome browser. This is Chrome browser. So I'm using Chrome browser. As you can see, the next thing I will do is I will type here. What am I going to type there? I will type www.www.cfotopia.com. Now it's loading. Now this is the working area of Photopia. So, the next thing you will do when you go to this is you have to go and import your words, import your mockup PSV, mockup file that you have already saved on your phone. Now, I want to use glass mockup, glass wall mockup. So, the next thing I will do is I will click on file. You see, where I circle is file. I will click on that. Good. So, it's pop out this. So I will click on open. I will click on open. You see? So I will click on open. This is it. So it's pop out this. The next thing I will do is I will click on download. You see? Now I'm going to import your my what? Import my PSD. I mean PSD file. Now it's loading. Wait. It's loading. Wait. You see, it has loaded. This is what this is the PSD file. When you look at the top, there are two things on top. There's two things on top. There's preview and there is 3D glass. No fine. So what you will do is that you have to keep nothing concerned about the preview. The preview is what you are looking at here. It's showing you the preview of the mock-up for you to know the type of mock-up you selected. Now I don't need to do anything with preview. I have to something to do with 3D glass. But anything that is displaying here, it was indirectly telling me that my what my eye already selected preview so preview is what i don't need preview i will now what i will now click on 3d glass this is 3d glass i will click on it when you click on it once you wait a little bit when you wait a little bit uh -huh. It will change. It will change. You see, it will change. It will load it and change. You will see the sign. And if you don't pay attention, just the next thing you will just do is click on lay. If you click on lay, if it has not done loading the 3D glass that you click before, it will not respond. To you. you understand? So the next thing now is to click on this lay. Click on lay. When you click on lay it will brought out this the next thing you will do is click on your logo this one you click on your logo double click it double click it you see when i double click it it brought another what it brought another layer the next thing i will do is there is an high icon beside it you see where i circle there is an high icon the way we normally hide our work in this lab, there is also an eye icon here. It's what I circle here. Just click it. 
once to hide the logo on top of that layer then the next thing you do now is click on this okay you click on this see you now see only transparent background this is the mock-up you see this is the mock-up it's until when you are able to see this before you can go and import your png file so the next thing now is click on file you see where i start go that is fine click on it the next thing is click on open and please not open again open and please the next thing is click it like this click on download click it like this now i want to go and import my what import my png file just be watching you must have you must have designed your png before you import it okay you must have done that good so you, 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 you wait for it to load it's loading now i didn't click anything after importing it will be low it will load automatically so you have to patient you see it's downloading downloading so the next thing we do now is what at time we have to what you see there is uh, there is this edge another sign here another sign here another sign here another one another one another one all this one they are the head where you can draw your design to be bigger or to be smaller you can stretch it out zoom it out and zoom it in through all this if you zoom it out, wait, if you click this one, this means you want it to be larger, it has to be larger in what? In vertical, not horizontal, in vertical, it will be larger in vertical, this is what we call what? This is what we call vertical, this is vertical, and uh, this is what we call horizontal, horizontal, so if you want it to be what to be larger like this like this one it means you have to draw it from this side it has to what it will be larger horizontal and if you want it to be larger vertically you have to draw it from you have to draw it sorry if you want it to be larger horizontally you have to draw it here or you draw it here do you understand or you draw it here and if you want to it to be larger uh, horizontally you have to what you have to draw it here or here do you understand so now since it's fitting already here the next thing i will do is that i will click on the i will click on File. See, I'll click on file like this. So I've already clicked on file. Then click on the save with smart object. Click with save with smart object. Just click it once. Once you click it once, it's loading like that. Loading. anything here again you see smart object updated so now the next thing you will do is this when you reach this stage the sister you click on the lay or you click on the 3d class continue clicking click on 3d class once and click on lay once understand the reason why i say you should do that is 
when you click on it once you just have to watch you just have to be patient be looking it will not respond to your clicking but whenever it done loading it will respond it will show the work first since you click the 3d glass first before it will not go to layer so you see you see it has what it has done processing so the next thing you will do this is your work so how do we save it so click on file again you click on file. then click on export click on export then sorry click on png click on png you have to wait when you click on png don't think it is not responding you see it has done to wait a little bit then click on save click on save you see so the next thing is click on download click on download and your work will your work will be downloaded automatically your work will be downloaded automatically now let's go and check whether it has done downloaded you see this is it you see how beautiful it is you see it very very okay you see how beautiful it is you see it very okay so that is that about what about how to mock up your bar i mean mock up your design using photopia like exactly like system in my next tutorial i will do the sitting mock-up so that you'll be able to see how uh, although the sitting mock-up normally what normally uh, take time but at least uh, uh, i will go straight to this point i intentionally built this one so that at least everybody will be able to understand this